Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. We can't stop xenophobic attacks, says South African Defense Minister. Nosiviwe Mapisa Nkwakula, South African's Defense Minister, said on Monday that the attacks against foreigners in South Africa were planned by criminals and that government can't prevent it. Mapisa, who said this in an interview with ENCA, a local channel, described South Africa as an angry nation and insisted that the government can't prevent the ongoing violence. The reality is that we have an angry nation. What's happening can never be prevented by any government, she said. According to her, the death of two people during a clash in Johannesburg, CDB, on Sunday, September 8th, could have been avoided, but could have been avoided, but that it was well orchestrated by criminal elements. She, however, said the xenophobic attacks were not politically motivated. People are saying some heads of state decided not to attend the WEF. We should be talking about why this whole thing is coinciding with the World Economic Forum. Mapisa Nkola said. She said, people are saying it is xenophobic attacks, but it is not. The first time we have had them in the past. Here, we have criminals that have read the situation and are aware that we have challenges right now. We have talked on this issue on high rates of unemployment of some foreign nationals who are not conducting themselves in an appropriate manner as we would expect. Those breaking the laws of the country and you now have criminal elements who have decided that we are going to use all of those things to find reasons to attack people it is unfortunate that it is unfortunate and should not happen the reality is that we need to have a serious dialogue about what is happening and we must make responsibility and take responsibility the reality is that we are an angry nation and we must talk about it why are we an angry nation why are we so determined to collapse our project of nation building and social cohesion? We need to hold hands together between governments and all state entities and the civil society and find solutions, solutions to what is happening, Mapisa Nkwakula added. Uh, so guys, that is the, another statement from a defense minister. Like he said, he said they, they can't, they, they, there's nothing they can do about it. Criminals you have criminals that are committing crime. You say there's nothing you can do about it. Is it not a laughable? Is it not a surprising thing that at government level, they say they cannot undo what is happening? There's no... Uh, you don't need anybody. We don't need anybody to tell us what is happening, what they stand for. They are just using all manner of tactics to defend themselves. But the more they try to defend themselves, the more they try to say one or two things. People... You no, know, the more they expose themselves and people get their their language very well, people get their statements. We all know that they are playing to the gallery. Criminals are taking over. So what they are saying is that even the criminals can come to their government house and be doing all manner of things and you just fold your hands that you cannot do anything. There is no problem because they have said is that they don't want people. Let people go back to their country. Let all the foreign nationals go back to their country. It's not a big deal. And let us see how far they are going to go whether by the time the nationals the foreign nationals leave their country then the jobs that they are talking about you know they will have it in, in abundance but it's just unfortunate for the foreign people foreigners to leave their country is not it's not a big deal at all and it's not it's not something that is so difficult very soon everybody will just be out of the country so but the unfortunate thing is that when you have this kind of people at the helm of affairs or the that is the foundation or what the government really believe in that they, they say they are an angry nation but when people were helping you guys when you guys were down when all the nations were coming no none of you said no they shouldn't come because you guys are angry and you don't need help you can imagine the way these guys are really reasoning at the end of the day when the the foreigners leave their country then we'll see who they are going to blame now they are trying to divert attention that is just what we are seeing they are trying to divert attention from what is really happening
And this guy, they are so bold. He's even in saying this kind of a thing. You can imagine every day by day, they keep on making statements that are so really, you know, so annoying that you can't even hear from even a co corporate entity, let alone from the government quarter, people saying this kind of a thing. This is the fourth person saying, you know, trying to affirm or justify what their masses, their citizens are doing to foreigners. She's the fourth person. It's like they already have a meeting and the whole world is watching. Like I said, for foreigners to leave their country is never a big deal at all. It is your country. You guys, you know, you hold on to your country. I don't know whether these guys are really reasoning. Like I said in one of my videos, these guys, these people at the helm of affairs, most of them, because we still have a, a few of them that, you know, that do say things. They, they still reason very well. They don't even reason just the way these guys are really reasoning. Most of them, they need therapy. I think they need to go through a kind of, you know, training, a kind of, you know, to try to, you know, work on their mindset because the mindset they have is, is very, very bad. You can imagine defense ministers saying that there is nothing government can do. That foreigners that are coming into their country, they are, that are behaving in an unusual way, in, in, in an abnormal way. So what they are trying to tell us that every of their citizens they are very very okay they behave in a normal way so it is only the foreigners they will just come they just decided to come to your country and be misbehaving your people don't misbehave this is really pathetic honestly me i've never i always know that uh, government people are the hem of affairs even the government from you know people speaking from for for government they are always diplomatic but these guys are just saying things that are really you know like like laymen like lame men, they just vomit anything that comes out of their mind. So it's not going to be too. It's not the the truth is not going to be far fetched because it is the same people having that same mindset. You know, they are the same people at the end of the affair of that country. There's no two ways about it. So they cannot reason separately, and it is it is this rhetoric that they have really sold to their people, and that's why they are really behaving the way they are behaving. And nobody is talking about the eighty percent of you know economy that the 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 white minority are even holding. They are not even saying anything about it. Just the little thing that they have given to them, that they are that are you know that are left with them. That is just the only thing that they are looking at. So the best thing is for all foreigners in that country, let their government take them back. Of course, like Nigeria, by Wednesday. 400 like they said over 400 people have really indicated interest that they want to come back to nigeria and that is the best thing that is the best way to go and if you feel like you don't want to come back to nigeria you can just go to other country you can just migrate to other country but not you staying in that place life has no duplicates at all when you have people at the end of affairs that they are all they're supposed to be defending everybody because the job of the of a responsible government is to protect lives and property whether you are a foreigner or you are an indigene but these guys are saying they can't do anything about it. That the criminals have taken the advantage of the problems they have on ground to start manipulating, to start operating. And you are leaving them and you are you have the infantry to say that government cannot do anything about it. Ah. You know, just like the people always say that if you have not left your father's farm, if you don't leave your father's farm to go to other people's farm, you wouldn't know that there are other bigger farms than that of your or father. That is just a kind of parable. You know. In our country, when we even say something that some people are behaving in an abnormal way, politicians are behaving in an abnormal way. But this one, eh, this one, this one, tire me, oh. People are the, you know, at that level saying this kind of a thing that they can't do anything. So it's a free fall. Criminals can be doing no manner of things. They can be doing whatever they want to do because you believe that you are an angry nation, that you have problems on your hand, and there is nothing you can do about it. Ah, this one, this one, tire person, no. Oh. This one, a tired person. These people, they really need, you know, to be reorientated right from their, their people to, to the government, to the government officials. They really need a reorientation. You could see even the uh, high commissioner, the woman, the high commissioner, whether it's the ambassador, the uh, South Africa ambassador, you know, to so Nigeria. If you see the way the woman was just doing her face, she was just doing her face. When the when the journalist was asking her question, she was just doing her face. Eh, that Nigeria should Nigeria government should tell their people to stop coming to 
to South Africa because we are, they have a lot of Nigerians that are into drugs. So they should, the only thing that Nigeria should be able to help them so that those people will not be coming to, to South Africa. You can imagine talk. Is that one at all? So guys, I would like to hear from you what you think about this. So the defense minister, defense minister, South African defense minister says we, they cannot stop this is xenophobic. They cannot stop the attack. There's nothing the government can, can do that they can't prevent it. So they are handicapped. They can't do anything. So for as many that are there, you have heard about it. See what the government is saying. They don't care about you. Meaning that the criminals, like they said, they will just be doing whatever they like to you. So you better advise yourself and know the next step to be taken as fast and as soon as possible. Please, guys, leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.